Screen tearing is a divisive issue in PC gaming and leaves gamers in two camps. While some turn on VSync and suffer micro stutters and input lag for a clean view of the game, others attempt to ignore the splitting in search of faster response times and higher frame rates. NVIDIA's G-Sync attempts to cross the aisle by providing a lag-free experience without the tearing by matching the variable refresh rate of the monitor to the output of the video card. In order to use it, you'll need a 650 Ti booster grader and a compatible monitor, but it makes a world of difference. Turning on G-Sync in Diablo 3 smooths out the tearing and clipping seen on the player's animations, which are particularly bad when there are lots of enemies on screen. It's also a game where input lag is clearly noticeable, but with the dial glued to 75 frames per second, there's no way to know whether G-Sync affected that. Rockstar's open world title was remastered when it was ported to PC, and it shows in the high resolution graphics and far draw distances, which tear magnificently when the settings are turned up. VSync deals with the most egregious tearing, but gives the game a noticeable stutter when spinning quickly. If there's an issue with input lag, it isn't particularly noticeable, but G-Sync provides the smoothest experience by far. Despite running at high frame rates on our test system, Shadow of Mordor suffered from some odd graphical artifacts and glitches, mostly seen in the distance, as well as on complex physics interactions, like rain bouncing off clothing. Since the frame rate is already maxed out, G-Sync mostly helps smooth out the artifacts seen during momentary drops in rendering time. The EA shooter Battlefield 4 has had its fair share of technical issues, and is one with an odd polling rate and a max frame rate of 200 frames per second. It does, however, suffer from rolling and tearing at the slightest mention of looking around. V-Sync suffers mostly due to the fact that input lag is already high, and the frame rate can't keep still, making it the perfect candidate for G-Sync. Turning it on is almost like a new game, and even realistic water and explosions can't rip up the graphics. If you're already spending money on a new gaming computer, it's hard to see a reason why you shouldn't opt for G-Sync.